Welcome, everyone, to the Everything Show. I am your host, Matrix Lord 212, and I'm with Vaughn. What's up, Vaughn? What's up? All right, so this is Vaughn's review of Black Panther. I'm going to see tomorrow with Sharon. Had to work today, but she saw it, so what'd you think? It's good. I'm not going to give nothing away. <laughs> but it's worth it. It's worth it. Now, you said you think this is the best Marvel film? Yes. That I'm not going to give nothing away. I know, <laughs> I know. Have, people have an experience. But yes. I think if I had to, if I had to really um, put it, I think this is number one for me. Wow. Joe loved yeah. it, by the way. Oh, he, yeah. He, he loved it, too. Scott saw it twice. Um, I think he loved it, too. Yeah. Uh, and, again, if I didn't have to work today, I would have saw it today. But we are – I tomorrow is President's Day, so I am off from everything nice. tomorrow. And me and Sharon's, Sharon's off, too. And we are going to see Black Panther probably really – well, probably early, the first show. It more. It is hard. I don't know how it is in your state, but here it was hard to get a theater because it's so it's selling out in most theaters. Right. So whoever wants to go better plan or check the theaters before they go. All right. A lot of theaters are, are selling out very quickly. Wow. That might be different. Well, no. Yeah. It's, it's a holiday, so yeah. Yeah. I mean, personally, because it got everything right. It, it did. went back to the root. Yeah, it went back to its roots as being a social comfort, which I liked about it. It just mm. really, it's really good. It, it's really a good film. What's up, Scott? Not a. What's going on? So, Vaughn, without giving any spoilers, okay, because Vaughn gave her opinion quickly of Black Panther. What did you think of it? Was well, not bad. I have to say, they did it uh, quite well. Okay, you saw it twice? I, well, I didn't mean to see it twice, but a buddy of mine wanted to, wanted to see it. And the, the latest show was uh, around 8.50 or 8.40 right. at, at the Southern Cinema. So we went there, and so I'm pretty much like. Well, oh, yeah, I hate when you have to look up. Like when it's like because those were pretty row. much the only seats. Those were like pretty much the only seats left. At least you got to see it twice. Yeah. Some people didn't even get to see it yet. Like Mom was saying, it's selling out everywhere. It's selling out everywhere. It, it was, it's just, it's a good film. I liked it. I thought that was well, I think it was really well made. It, it was. was. It was. And it was really, the thing is, it was thought out. Everything mm -hmm. they did was thought out. Wow. And that's, that's saying a lot for Marvel. Yeah. So you think that this movie is special where it has something that some movies don't? That yes. this will be remembered yeah. forever. Be remembered. I'm, I'm telling you, it is basically them going back to their roots. Mm -hmm. it, it deals with a lot of social stuff, and it. People black, they were talking about the Black Panthers uh, had a little <laughs> nod to them as well. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, it is. It's really a, it's a deep movie, and that's what Marvel posts have been anyway. Something because Mutants was about racism and stuff. Yeah. So that's basically what Marvel's home group is, and it mm. talks about a lot in this movie, and it's just good. And this is and because it's going to be remembered because a lot of people are going above and beyond. I done seen people dance outside the theater. I done seen people, little girls, dress up as um, a Sean's character. <laughs> oh, and, wow. Yeah, and it, it's just having a very positive impact within the community. And we need that. Yes, right now. we need so, positivity yeah, right now. We need Whatever positivity. going on in this world that we live in. There's a lot of yeah. evil in this world, yeah. but the light always shines through the dark. No, I was going to have to say the twin the Easter eggs uh, they had. Don't tell me, don't tell me. I'm not. I'm not going to say they're just twin. There are twin Easter eggs mid and uh, and the ending credits. That's all I'm going to say. Okay. What are you going to say, Vaughn? Um, I was going to say like my grandmother, her church. Um, most churches are doing this, where they go out into the community and like 16 people who couldn't afford it, they'll buy they'll buy their way into this movie. And I have not seen that for any other movie. So that's how big of an wow. impact is happening. A lot of people, a lot of communities are doing that. Like, if you can't pay for it, they'll outreach and you can go and see it. So you think that this movie, 
is going to surprise everybody box office wise. Yes. yes. And be yes. well over a billion dollars. Yes. It is. It's working its way up. Yep. Okay. And a lot of people that I talked to will see this movie again. So, yeah. It's From good. what I heard, the last I heard, it's, I, I'm not sure if it crossed 400 million yet, but it's there. If it did, no. I'll surprise. It's, it's there. And um, let me see if I can get numbers so we can talk about this. Um, let me see, you know what? Let me get my other phone. Talk briefly, Vaughn. Hold on, okay? Okay. Get one of you guys talk. Okay. Yeah, I, I, and the cinematography was great in this movie. Yes. In the way they, um, they used cultural reference and implemented it into that mm -hmm. society, which was really, it was just phenomenal. The outfits was amazing. They, yes. Just, oh, the, that I have to say, if it doesn't win, uh, at least for outfits, it's they're robbing that uh, mm -hmm. their movie. And they, of course, they had to change the leader of the uh, mountain group so they wouldn't get slammed. And yeah, but they did yeah. do a nod to this thing as if you looked underneath the uh, the cave, yeah, uh, the main cave, you saw a gorilla hold a gorilla thing uh, holding them up. Yeah, we had that. I had a feeling at the end. I have hold on, I'm back. <laughs> okay, I can't say anything. Yeah, I heard something. All right, they don't say crap. Um, okay, so right now they're saying uh, we have 361. Worldwide, but they're saying um, some figures are not in, and when you put the figures together, it's close to 387. Again, by freaking Monday, it's probably going to be well over 400 million. So, yep. and again, Monday's a holiday. We it's a holiday yep. they extended weekend, so mm -hmm. um, that's what it's going to be. Uh, and before we continue about Black Panther, I have to just go quickly a rundown on the box office because there are other movies out there. Um, the number two movie is Peter Rabbit. Uh, Peter Rabbit has in 48 million. Now, I, again, it's not a hit and there's a lot of controversy with that movie. Yes, we know. I've heard about it. And about, look, from what I understand, spoilers, this guy's trying to kill them. Yeah. yeah, and they're yeah. trying to save, defend themselves. That they basically know he has a food allergy, so they try and to they do that, that to yeah. save themselves. But they're not. People are not watching the movie, and they're right away saying stupid crap about it. Yeah, and they're not getting it. You know, like people just want a board yeah. with a lot. You know, I don't know. Yeah, it's all is. right for him to be going. Yeah, to be honest, kill these animals. I know they shouldn't be. Not, no, no, hold on, hold on, hold on. They, yes, I agree with. I agree though. That they shouldn't have done that because of food allergies. Yeah. I mean, but. But it, to be fair, they are going tit for tat for each other. Like, they're yeah. trying to both exterminate each other. So I don't see what the big problem was. Listen, them. you can't even watch Looney Tunes anymore. Exactly. Because yeah. that stuff is oh. way worse. I remember one year they actually banned Tom and Jerry. Yeah. Because of the violence. Yes. I remember that. Yep. So you so, know what? That's why I say just live it. Just yeah. Who cares? Whatever. I still remember for a time they were uh, it, every time they came to a violent spot, they they censored that out, and then they yeah. got. Came you know what it is. That. You know what it is. And again, no offense to anybody, but a lot of parents are just not good parents to no, teach their kids that this is just a movie. Don't do stuff like this because a lot yeah. of people just drop their kids off at the mall. Yeah. They're busy. They're working too many different jobs. They don't pay attention. And then when something happens, they want to blame oh, somebody. Oh, God. Just yeah. teach your kid that's a, only a movie. Don't do it in real life. Just like the video games. Don't do it in real yeah. life. It's just a video game. It's just a movie. And then everybody would be fine. What's up, Chris? Hey, Chris. What's up, Chris? What's going on, Chris? How are you? So that's the number two movie. Um, how you doing, Chris? You hear us? What's up, guys? Hey, bro. What's did up? you see? Bro what happened? Did you see Black Panther? Not yet. No, but I basically know what happens in the movie. So, all right, okay. don't say anything, and we're not going to spoil anything here, though. But uh, okay. Did you have any news? Uh, yeah, a bunch actually. Okay. What oh, do you got? Nice. Okay, I, I don't know if you guys talked about any of this already, so I apologize if I'm repeating stuff. That That's we're, fine. But um, Toy Fair is going on right now as, as we speak, and there's been a couple 
kind of really big and really strange things that have come out from that. Mm. Um, the first thing is, I didn't know this going offhand, so I this is me being late on this stuff, but um, Hasbro, I guess, is <laughs> excuse me, is not doing the toy line for Jurassic World: Fallen Kingdom anymore. Um, Mattel is doing it. Oh, and Mattel oh. has completely destroyed Hasbro on this front because all the figures that they've released at Toy Fair that they've shown have been like a thousand times better than oh. anything Hasbro's ever put out. Damn! For wow. Jurassic Park. You go like Mattel. I'm not even joking. If you if you go look at this stuff, like even the small figures that they're making, completely destroy anything that came out for Jurassic World. Wow, it's ridiculous. What? I couldn't believe. Like I'm not planning on getting any of them, but I was like, this is ridiculous. How much better these are. Like, well, I, wait a I minute. When like, did Mattel ever put Mattel puts out good stuff like that? I guess <laughs> they do. Now I, they do. I don't know. I. <laughs> I never knew they did stuff like that. I know Mattel was Barbie and, and, yeah, and Hot Wheels yeah. and yeah, yeah, and yeah. you know, but I didn't know that they they put figures out like. Listen, doing... and this isn't even like you know, like you know how some toy lines are made specifically for adult collectors and stuff. Yeah, yeah. these are supposed to be for kids. What? And these look friggin' amazing. Like Holy. if I was a kid back then and these were out there, I would have saved my money to buy every single one of them. Because this, uh, they are ridiculous. Damn. Shout out to Mattel for stepping up their game. I, yes, I'll tell you how big. crazy it is, right? They're releasing a figure that's like an anatomy set for a T-Rex. What? Where you can like take it apart and see like the insides of a T-Rex and stuff. Wow. And then you can put it back together and have a really nice looking T-Rex figure. I, I, I'm like shocked when I when I saw these. I was like, these are just toys, but these look really amazing. Like I can't, I can't really not, comprehend it. I I not, thought Hasbro was supposed to be up there, and I was yeah, like, Hasbro, not, come on! Like, what are you doing? I think Mattel said, "You want me to make a make a Jurassic Park for the home, my dear?" Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that that's that that's literally what it's like. What? I was looking at these toys, and I was like. Is this the same Mattel that I Wait remember when I was a kid? Because this. Yeah. this Wait a minute. Is this is this a Mattel figure? This one, or no? That's an old one. Yeah. Oh, that's not Mattel, right? Yeah. That yeah, it's really old. Uh, okay. You can find pictures of some of them online already. I, I I couldn't I couldn't believe it. And it's not even just the dinosaurs they're making. They're making like vehicles and stuff. What? And everything just looks really nice. Like it's just. It's really, really weird. Like, they're making a Mosasaur figure that's, like, huge, and it's, mm -hmm. like, made of rubber, so it won't break. And I was like, wow, that's actually ingenious. Yes. Like, when you think about it, like, if a kid's throwing this around and it's made of rubber, like, it's not going to break. So, like, Shut and it looks up, nice. Mattel. Wow, Mattel. I, w I was, it, it was so, like, they're so nice that I was like, can you guys start making stuff for Godzilla? <laughs> wow. <laughs> Like really, let's let's get these guys now, for Godzilla. Wait, do they have stuff. some of this stuff? This stuff is not out yet, right? It's not out yet. It's coming out soon, though. I want to go see these uh, these figures. In, uh, uh, but honestly, but that's I, oh, go ahead, Vaughn. I'm sorry. I was oh, I was about to say my mind is blown by this information because yeah. you know, like all of us were assuming that Mattel was just about dollies and yep. Barbies and Ken, but they stepping up their game, man. That's, yeah, that's exciting. But that's not even the biggest thing that happened at at uh, uh, I almost said at Mattel at uh, <laughs> Toy Fair this weekend. There was something that happened that made me like question my childhood reality for a little while. What? Oh, wow. So Joe, you you remember this because you you used to sell Power Ranger stuff. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. How long has Bandai been putting that stuff out? Forever, Ever. right? I remember yeah. working in Caldor in 1993 or 94 mm -hmm. and putting that stuff out. And even the damn pizzeria was selling the Megazords or whatever the hell was the thing. Yeah. Were. Well, Bandai's no longer making Power Ranger stuff anymore. I heard what? you lost the rights, huh? Guess who's making it now? Hasbro? Yes. 
<laughs> Hasbro <laughs> apparently is now going to be producing Power Rangers stuff. So they um, lost something, but then they gained something. Yeah. Basically. Wow. Yeah. Well, well, wait a minute now. How can, let me ask you a question. Let me ask you a question, first of all. Back in the day, it was relevant. It was big, right? Mm-hmm. Then we had a shitty movie, right? Mm-hmm. Now, and and is the series that big now on TV that no. well, people are going to go ape shit over these figures? No. Let me explain why this is this is huge, okay? For, for those of you who don't know, Power Rangers is adapted from a series of, yeah. of multiple Super mm-hmm. Sentai in Japan, right? Yeah. Yeah. There is a ser- there was a series of Super Sentai in Japan called Go Busters, right? Okay. Which was a huge season over there. It was okay. it was one of the more popular ones and it got skipped when they started adapting Power Ranger stuff. Not not started, but when they were adapting Power Ranger stuff. So basically what will happen is Japan will have their Super Sentai series and then after that Bandai and Saban, they'll make the Power Rangers series based on the Super Sentai stuff, but of course things will be different, right? Okay, yeah. So Go Busters got skipped when they were doing it. They went right from a show called, I think it was called the Q Ranger, not Q mm. Ranger, but Q Ranger, which was which became Dino Charge in America, okay. and then they they did Power Rangers Ninja Steel, which is the one that's currently on right now, Super Ninja Steel. So Go Busters got skipped for Ninja Steel. And there was also one called Tokyuger in Japan, which was based on trains. Right. And a lot of people were really upset when Go Busters got skipped because Go Busters has a really interesting storyline. And the, and the suits are not normal Power Ranger suits. They're, they're much different than what most people are used to. And like the Megazords and stuff were, were really, really cool. Like they were really interesting designs like they were based on animals but they could also turn into like trucks and cars and whatnot and then turn into the megazord which of course is uh i think it's called go bustero in in japan they're not called megazords in japan but okay recently also at toy fair the really big news for power rangers was apparently this first season that they're doing now is going to be the adaptation of go busters Oh, nice. Ooh, okay. It's called Power Rangers okay. Beast Morphers. Okay. okay. So when that got announced, everybody was like, holy shit. Right. We got to watch this show. And so I, I've never watched Go Busters. I, I, I've seen some of the stuff from it. And I can say it, to me, it looks different from what like a normal Power Rangers series would be. I don't know how the adaptation. But how old is it, though? It's like one or two years old, I think. Oh, okay. Entirely okay. Sure. oh okay. So, yeah. And it came as a surprise because the current. So I think it's the current Super Sentai over in Japan. It's called Q Ranger. Um, that those suits were apparently like Bandai helped design them. Okay. So when people heard that, they were like, "Oh, that's going to be our next Power Ranger series." Mm-hmm. And it's very gimmick heavy. Like all the things that they do can be made into toys and whatnot. Yeah. Go Busters isn't, and that's why a lot of people are really surprised that they're going with like a show that basically doesn't have a gimmick. Unless they make one, which would be kind of weird, but because like I know Dino Charge, which was the the you know the ones <laughs> excuse me the ones before Ninja Steel, I know that made a lot of money mm-hmm. because the gimmick that they had was friggin' ingenious. It right. was like two or three toys in one that they did, oh, and they were all wow. interchangeable. So I, it, it, to answer your question, yes, it it, it has become very popular again despite the movie which i saw the movie and i didn't think it was that bad no let me ask you a question because of the toys right and hasbro could could they have a reboot of the movie i think they could yeah because weren't there supposed to be like six power ranger movies originally i remember they said they they wanted to do something like that but that doesn't necessarily have to be sequels they could just reboot that crap sure I mean, I didn't see the movie, but I'm just saying, like... Well, I can I can tell you what. I, I saw the movie not too long ago. I didn't mind it. I thought it was okay. Right. But they introduced something in that movie that would give them enough material to do six movies. Oh, wow. Like, like no... If you know anything about the Power Rangers lore, which I do because I, I, was, I was watching this when I was a kid, like, every day of my life. Yeah. Mm-hmm. 
the Zeo crystal was introduced in the movie. And because of that, they could do like a hundred, hundred movies if they wanted. Wow. Okay. Like it, wow. it wouldn't, nice. it wouldn't take them. It wouldn't even be that difficult really to do even like 10 movies if they, if they wanted to. I mean, they, they got so much stuff that they can do because they based all this off of like Mighty Morphin which had three seasons and each season had a different thing. Like the first season was the one everybody knows. And then they went to yeah. the Thunder Zords and then the and Ninja Zords. Zords. And then they, you know, right. they became the Power Rangers Zeo. And then, so, I mean, it, it they so, could have easily done what they were looking to is, do. In the Japan, the um, Japan version of this, do they have ever have a group that defected? I know one mean? season, right. There was one season where, they was I, it was something strange about this season. It was on Disney, and it was one season where I want to say Ninja Sword or something like that. Like one of them, one group of Power Rangers defected, and then another one came after that. What do you mean like, defected? Like became like, evil? They, they became rogue. Like they was rogue. Oh. There's been a couple. Of, there's there's been a couple of Rangers that have that have done that. I mean, uh, Tommy in the first season when he was the yep. Green Ranger, he he was introduced as an evil Ranger. In SPD, there was the whole team that defected. So yeah, it was, that's it, was, it. Yeah, it was the Al- I think it was the Alpha team that yeah. were missing for the whole series, and on that show followed the B team basically, which was the main team that everybody knew. And then at the mm-hmm. at the very last in the very last few episodes, the Alpha team was like they they were found, they were discovered again, and they yeah. came back into the show. And it turns out they were behind a lot of the stuff that happened, or or, or they were evil yeah. or something like that. I, I, I Are didn't all watch these SPD, shows connected though? All of them connect except for one of them, which happens in another universe. Okay. okay. Um, and it's really weird because one of the only complaints that I had heard with Dino Charge, which again, I didn't watch, but I know the ending, like at the end of the show, apparently dinosaurs never go extinct. Oh. And they're in like zoos and stuff, and everyone's like, "Yeah, that's a problem because the first Power Ranger Zords were all dinosaurs." So how do you explain that? Right. So it's it's kind of weird, but yeah, they all connect except for I think it was RPM. Okay. I want to say was Ooh, in another yeah. universe, and then they all went right back to the the regular universe. But this is still popular, just not as popular, right? It's it's still popular. It's just yeah, it's it's not as it's popular. It's falling as it off was. as right. Mm. I Although know. I I I have to say, with, with Go Busters being adapted, uh, if it's half as good as what I've heard the Sentai series was, it might get back up there. So it might be popular like when it first came out, like just people. I don't know nuts. if it'll be that popular, but it'll it'll get up there. Okay, definitely. I know. I know I've seen one. They somebody did a short film. I don't know if you've seen this, Chris. Where um, on Docker remembers that they was tracking somebody, and I think Kim was behind the um, Pink Ranger was behind most of it. Mm. And it was just oh, that was so good. I know they capture, and then she ends up killing Tommy's character, and then it was just. I saw some type. Of, was that a fan film? Or was that a real thing? It was like a. It was like a fan film. It was really weird. I saw something adult with the Power Rangers that they tried yeah. to ban, that the head got chopped off or something. Yes. Of a yeah, that was the one. Where that was I, I didn't. Sick. I didn't like that too much. I, I was like, that's kind of, like, how far are you gonna go with this? It's Power Rangers. Like yeah. what? Yeah. Like what? Why do we need an adult Power Rangers? Right. I, I don't. I really don't get that. But yeah. So that like I know that they're, they're also revealing. A lot of stuff for Avengers. Like I know the um, Ant Man and the Wasp figures. A couple of them got released, and they look really nice. Okay. Um, there was this. I I don't know if this was at Toy Fair, but there was a Kong Skull Island statue of him fighting the the Skull Crawler, which is like it looks friggin' amazing. I know that the comic book um, King Kong of Skull Island, which is completely separate from the MonsterVerse. That's getting a toy line now. Oh, wow. Um, what else was there? Why don't they just make Kong movies, though? I don't understand why they can't just do well, it. Well, I, I mean, we got to wait and see how the monster verse yeah. does. But yeah. um, what else? There was, <laughs> I think this is at Toy Fair. There were some Godzilla figures. 
um, not not for Godzilla 2 or anything like that, but um, like X plus figures that that were revealed specifically of uh, Shin Gojira's fourth form and uh, the Godzilla from 1984. Both of those look unbelievable. Like like like, it, like they're actually him. That's how good they look. Um, looks like they jumped off the screen. Um, wow. So yeah, I mean, there's a lot. There was a big thing again going back to Hasbro. I don't know what the hell was going on with Hasbro, but there was this big debacle, I guess, with Transformers. That uh, so they they have the Bumblebee movie, right? And they're mm-hmm. they're right. talking about that, and not too much stuff's been revealed from that, but that's definitely coming out at the end of this year. Then somewhere online. Someone got this story that was like, yeah, after the Bumblebee movie, Transformers is being rebooted. What? Right, and, we covered that a little bit. Yeah, and they were like, yeah, it's getting rebooted. And then I guess this was backed up by Hasbro's movie future because they, they had this thing for the investors there no. to see if they wanted to invest in that. Oh. And no more. The the Bumblebee movie was on there, but mm-hmm. post that, there were no Transformers movies listed, right? Oh, right. they had GI Joe, Dungeons and Dragons, yeah, Micronauts, yeah. and then they had this thing for 2021 that said Paramount slash Hasbro event film, right? Okay. So everyone was like, okay, so I guess that means Bumblebee's coming out and then Transformers reboot. Uh, then tonight, then tonight, this story came out. Someone talked to one of the representatives from Hasbro and they said, yeah, don't believe everything you read online. Right. Oh, because maybe they're going to get Michael Bay again and some shit like that. Well, apparently not. No. Uh, apparently they're not rebooting it. And this back. story hasn't been proven true. So mm. my question is, what's going on with Transformers? Right. And my other question is, what is this Hasbro event film in 2021? Well, Shoots and ladders. Well, well, let, let me, let, yeah, let me, uh, let's just talk about this for a second. Cause we covered something years ago on the everything show where they had this vision that there was going to be, say, three G.I. Joe movies, Mm -hmm. so many Transformers movies, and at some point in time, they were going to have some type of crossover movie with G.I. Joe versus Transformers or something like that. Right. Could that be it? I think it could be. Now, here's another thing. Originally, they delayed the release of G.I. Joe 3 because they said... Being that the rock is becoming ridiculously popular and everything he touches turns to gold, that they wanted to continue with the rock in G.I. Joe 3. And that they were going to hold the whole damn movie for years for him to appear. So, but, but then I heard that they weren't going to wait for him. They're going to reboot the whole thing. What do you think is happening? I think they're rebooting it. They are. I really do. I, I think it's going to be a reboot because I think they're I think they're going to do what you said. I think they're going to try to make this mm. fit within the Transformers universe, right? Which uh, now has become very difficult because yeah. of the way the last night ended. Yeah. I didn't that, see the last one. Yeah. So basically, yeah. the last night ended. If you don't mind me saying, that's that. fine. The last night ended with Cybertron literally being brought into our yeah. solar system, and it's like literally orbiting with the Earth. Not like they're gonna crash into each other or anything, but like but just like it's, it's there. Orbit, it's just another. It's, it's like a planet yeah. in the you, solar. You system. can't miss it. Like you look up in the sky and you can see, like depending where you are on the Earth, there's Cybertron, right? Okay. Um, and they they went the route that I really hope I was really hoping that they weren't going to do this because mm-hmm. they did this in Transformers Prime, and I really didn't like it in there. So the idea of Unicron in Prime was rewritten, and apparently Unicron is the reason the Earth exists at all. Oh yeah. fuck that! 
and he's in the core of the earth, and they did that in this movie. And now he's like his horns are starting That's, to come out yeah. of the earth. Pointing out at uh, pointing out certain areas of the uh, I don't like yeah. the earth. Now I really hate that storyline. Yeah, I don't like that. Um, but so so my thing is trying to fit GI Joe into that world is just kind of weird. Yeah, so they need to reboot both of them at the same time. I would think so, but I just I think they're rebooting GI Joe. I I don't think they're rebooting Transformers. See, GI Joe, they I really they can slip the smidgens of Transformers stuff in it. Maybe. See, the thing is with GI Joe, they need to make it dark, and yeah. they can't make it too cutesy. Like yeah. go Joe, like like ridiculous. Uh, yeah. It's got to be like Cobra Commander is really a threat. Like they can't get this guy creates this whole organization. And I'm not talking about the cartoon where yeah. Cobra Law and all that other shit, and then Serpentor and crap, and it got ridiculous. And then fans rebelled, and then Cobra Commander came back, and Serpentor turned into a snake. I'm not talking about that garbage. I'm talking about Cobra Commander's the man, builds up this whole thing, shit gets dark. Maybe they do weather dominating. Maybe they do whatever. I don't know. Whatever the thing, weather, whatever the machine was or something. Because when G.I. Joe first started the cartoon, they had like mini movies or it was like um it was like a whole week yep thing like together yeah and it was really effing cool like really good i mean really good that even compared to certain stuff now it was really good and then when they got like a regular show it became like ridiculous but when they started doing that it was like deep it was it needs to get dark well what they really have to do is like to make Cobra and that whole thing scary, they have to like have art imitate reality and just use what like scares people now mm -hmm. and put mm -hmm. that into the movie. Right. Like these guys are in the country somewhere. They could be your next door neighbor and you just yeah. don't know. Like it has to be something creepy like that. Yeah. And they're not. And the thing is that they're not like, foreign Sleep European rage. people. Yeah, right. It's we're basically like just white, Regular people, no, yeah, could like, be anybody. Not yeah. yes, just not regular people. Not like a thing. Oh, this. Right, race, they're, they're this not race, devoted to some sort of religion no. or like no. political no. ideology. They're, no. they're they just like there could be anywhere. They like, could set yeah. it up as like this, like the this person or this person is part like a part of a cult. Set it up to where oh that might be interesting, or set it up like a or a country that's trying or a. Terrorist group that's trying to. Now they're supposed uh, to be in this country. Throw the, I mean, I'm just saying, just set it up in that manner to really lead you down that way, but it's really a red herring. They definitely you have to, not you have to almost country. make it. You have to make it almost like Hydra. Like mm -hmm. you don't yes, know who's exactly. part of Hydra, but they're there. Although, you know they're there. Although Cobra and that's what was makes around. Them scary. I mean, although GI Joe was around before, and Cobra was around before Hydra, I believe. But anyway, yeah, it needs to be. It needs to be like scare the crap out of people like this could happen mm -hmm. people could build this maybe someone rich or something could just build this whole damn organization and then it's out of control you know but you know speaking of the hasbro stuff i, I guess we get to look forward to a dungeons and dragons movie in the future which you know yay i guess I saw is the Dungeons and Dragons Saturday morning cartoon i, I saw the Dungeon, Dungeons and Dragons I saw that other film I saw the Dungeons and Dragons TV movie in the eighties and it wasn't like, you know, and they're supposed to like shock people, scare people, people talking about it. Oh my God, this could happen. You know, and it never caught on like, yeah, it caught on for people to play the game, but not movie wise or, or TV show wise. It just wasn't. Now it'll probably catch on because I say stuff like stranger things. Mm -hmm. Now people have the nostalgia for the eighties stuff. It's so a Saturday morning cartoon, something similar to that. To no, it's not a card. It's not going to be a cartoon. It's I know. I'm just saying, if they base it similar to the cartoon, then I could see them it catching on a little bit. But if they're doing, I, it, I think it's going to be a hit. The I think it had the kid from uh, Lois and Clark who played uh, Jimmy. No. So now we know that movies are going to be made. Um, what is going on with the Rock schedule? 
Because here's the thing, right? Here's the thing. He was supposed, there was a rumor that he was going to be part of the dark universe stuff. And then that went kaput. Like maybe the Wolfman, which I would, I could not see him as the Wolfman. Me neither. At all. But then again, now he's in a superhero thing. Then he's in this, then he's in that. And I, you know, do you know anything he's going to be doing that's going to be stunning movie that's shocking besides Black Adam and Shazam and all that stuff? Well, I know he's got that, that like skyscraper yeah. movie coming out, which I, I have no motivation to go see that. Basically die, right. die hard. Um, I know that they were star. trying to get him for WrestleMania this year and that he's still on the table what? for that. Why does he – okay, let me ask you a question. Why the hell does he still do that? Why? He could be hurt. Yeah. Because I would do it if they were going to pay me. <laughs> like, well, I guess. <laughs> but, like, he don't he, like he don't even need to do that anymore. He's so freaking rich. He doesn't. Yeah, and, and personally, I would be okay if he just said, you know, I'm not doing it anymore. But yeah. I, th- I think he does it because he still enjoys it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. There has to be some type of enjoyment, you know, that he still – because let's, let's be honest, that's where he got his start from, yeah, yep. And he probably says that he owes a certain type of amount of debt to that, you know. So then buy them. Could he buy them? Oh, God, no. Oh. No. <laughs> are, they, are they for sale or they might be for sale? They're or? not for sale. Oh, no. Okay. Okay. <laughs> no. Now I know I I know that the match they were they were allegedly gonna bring him back for was gonna be him versus Triple H and Stephanie, and that his partner was apparently gonna be Ronda Rousey, who is signing with the company on Sunday. Yeah. Oh, this okay. coming Sunday. I thought she was signed already. She is, but storyline wise, she's she's uh, signing with them at the Elimination Chamber. Okay. So I don't know if he's gonna be in that match with her. Well, let me ask you a question. Which, I know he's built, but is he in shape to wrestle? No. And for anyone who doesn't know the distinction, there's, there's a big difference between being, you know, built like normal. Mm-hmm. Right. And then there's, there's being in shape for wrestling. Right. Yeah. And can I, can I co- in, sort of, can I sort of explain it a little bit? Yeah. Okay. Think of it like this. Think of his muscles as like just a show, a trophy, whatever, right? When he was wrestling, it was a constant. Mm-hmm. Every day, yeah. his yeah. body remembered, his muscles remembered. Muscle memory. Bouncing Testing into memory. the ropes, jumping off the ropes, mm-hmm. smashing into the ground. This. When you're out of that and you're just lifting weights, yes, you look big, mm-hmm. but you're not running around. The only thing he's running for is like on the camera. You see him jog for this quickly. You don't see him like how. What's the endurance? How much can he go? And because he's just not wrestling, like his body is gonna miss, or he's yeah. not gonna be able to. Like it's not gonna. The timing is gonna be off. Yeah. The yeah. the the like he he. It's gonna hurt if he lands on the ring more than it would because he's just hasn't done this right. Am I right, Chris? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, maybe, I mean, again, I've watched wrestling. I've attended wrestling for a long period of time. So I know it's sort of like me going back into retail after being out of retail for four years, not unloading trucks, not packing out, not lifting shit. And just because my job was like a desk job, right? So now my body's just like, what the F are you doing? You know, and like, yes, my body's adapting. Yes, I lost 25 pounds because I'm, doing this stuff again. But your My, muscles are not ready to go back. But I'm in. not ready yet. I'm not in yeah. shape yet to do this regularly. Like, it doesn't he, remember where I can just do it with ease and be in shape. He's not doing it repetitively. Like, he's he, not... Consistently. Consistently, yeah. Day after and day, day after day, yeah. Muscle memory problems, because he's going to he's gonna feel it if he goes back in the ring. That he's first not, day when he... Not gonna, gonna, and that's why I say, Chris, why embarrass yourself? Because you know they're they're doing it the smart way where, the if he was gonna wrestle, they're putting him in there against Triple H, who in in recent years has proven that he can work with pretty much anybody, and make them look good. 
you Let's know, at, at certain, except for Sting, which I don't know what happened there. But um, what is? I'm sorry, what's going on with Sting? He can't wrestle anymore. <laughs> oh my God! Yeah, oh. that was a whole debacle. But good lord, basically he's hurt he took he a buckle wrestle. bomb and he hurt his neck, and then they were like, wow. "Yeah, you can't wrestle anymore." Uh, Wait, they didn't, so, even give, they didn't give him a chance. They didn't like rebuild him. No, apparently it was so bad. They were like, "Yeah, don't wrestle anymore. Or else something really bad could happen." So he's set money wise. Like they took care of. Oh him, yeah. Like, oh okay. Yeah. Um, oh wow. Man. But uh, him and Triple H had a match and. Triple H, I thought was gonna let him win, and he didn't, which was a whole, it was a whole thing. It, that, that's not why he had to stop though. wrestling, but yeah. Right, right. But I thought, it's, what do you mean he wouldn't let him win? He was supposed to win, and then apparently Triple H convinced everybody in the back as to why he should win, and they were like, okay. Oh. So yeah. he revoked his script on point, basically. It, it was point. before the match, like way before yeah. it, apparently. But okay. And, and I mean, like his that. his reasoning isn't wrong. It's just Sting should have won. That's just my, you know. Man, I've I've followed Sting since his WCW days. Even Austin and Ric Flair on their podcasts were like, yeah, Sting should have won. Like, that's that's pretty much it. Like, there's no debate. Sting should have won that match. But anyway. Wasn't there someone else? Okay, wasn't there someone else wrestled that was hurt that she can't wrestle anymore? Paige. Oh, Paige. She's done. Yep. Well, she's still on TV, but she can't wrestle anymore. Oh, and wow. She can't heal even, right? Well, she's she's okay. It's just she can't wrestle anymore. Okay. All so right. Wait a minute. How good is Stephanie McMahon, though? <laughs> Not that good. In the That's ring. That's what I figured. All right. What we're going to do is we're going to be back in like about five minutes. Are you guys still going to be around? Mm-hmm. Five, ten minutes? All right. Because, again, I, my thing is going to be slowing up later.